welcome back to our channel. So we are back on schedule and if you guys saw our last video, we did uh, put up our entrance table. So today we're going to take a little trip to Hobby Lobby, but first I wanted to show a little, <laughs> little part of Gilbert's morning, which was to wash the car before heading out to Hobby Lobby. Uh, he has been wanting to use this uh, pressure washer for so long and I had to show you guys because he was so excited about it and yeah that is him right there um, I did go ahead and check out the things that I already had and just to kind of get an idea of what I wanted to do with the entrance table and with the rest of the house um, as you guys can see I do have some stuff that I had bought uh, the previous year to put on our tree and things like that but Hobby Lobby did have 40% off Valentine's Day stuff so we decided to go check it out to see what they had I also wanted to make sure um, and see if they had like any spring stuff on sale hello Gideon we heard you were sick with the flu how are you feeling is this your first outing <laughs> Woo! good job I'm right behind you. So they did have Valentine's Day stuff. I just didn't really see anything that caught my attention. And also because I decorated so late, I kind of wanted to look at the spring stuff because I feel like Easter is around the corner and it's time to decorate for that. Valentine's Day is just a day and I'm late to it. So I decided not to really buy anything else that was Valentine's Day. I decided to just look at the spring stuff. Now they have a lot of cute spring things, Easter things, things like that. But it is not on sale right now. So I saw all these cute little like wreaths, little decorations that you can hang like on the wall. These little cute baskets with the tulips and those little bunnies. How cute are these? They have like the little butt. Um, and then they had a lot of like garlands with like eggs and things that you could put on your table and decorate but um, These gnomes were so cute Gilbert spotted them. So I had to get these I did get these even though they were not on sale because I just I just love them so much and Yeah, they have a lot of cute stuff for like stuffing your baskets for the kids. They have a lot of baskets um, These were super cute. I really like these top ones with the bunny face I feel like you could even have those around the house like and use them for like your pillows or your blankets things like that but they do have a lot of baskets I thought they were super cute but again I am gonna wait till they are on sale those little cute bunnies with the pink and uh, little dresses and then the blue little outfits they were so cute these were super cute as well I just don't know exactly what I want to do as far as decorating the house yet and so I will keep an eye on it and then as soon as it goes on sale, I'll go back and see what they have left um, They tend to not run out of a lot of stuff. So they should have everything that I'm seeing now But these little cute Easter um, Decorations all the little bunnies. I thought they were super cute and These I really like I feel like those would look cute on my table or even like in the kitchen So these huge bunnies, I don't know where you would put those but they were super cute as well but yeah, they did have a lot of um, Easter things and the good thing about spring though is that you can actually decorate like right after Valentine's Day and you can keep it up all the way, you know, like um, March, April, May if you wanted to. So I might go for more spring stuff than bunnies. Like let's say Easter just because Easter is a day as well and I don't have to take it off after Easter goes by. So I would definitely go to Happy Lobby to check it out. Uh, these these things are so cute as well. You can put them in your uh, arrangements, like your flower arrangements. I have other ideas for these, so I might have to go back and get some of those as well. Yeah. But now getting to decorating the table, I honestly didn't really know what I was going to put going in. I've had these garlands for so long. I actually got them for the wedding for our tables. And I still have them because I use them all the time. Um, they are from Amazon. They're really good quality. I mean, I've had them for years now and I still put them out every year. The roses are also roses that I bought from the wedding. 
that I had left over. These look really nice. They're good quality. I've had them again for years and I tend to put these out for, I think the last time I used them was for my niece's birthday and they look so cute. They're just so versatile. You can use them for so many different things and they do have different colors as well if you don't want like pink and white. But for me, the pink and white can go anytime, like spring, for the summer, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. I think they're really nice. So I just put the garlands up and I didn't want to put like a runner or anything else on top of the garland, like under the garland, just because I wanted the table to be able to shine through. And then this little sign I also got at Hobby Lobby when I got all the other Valentine's Day stuff. And I didn't want to put too much again because I didn't want to cover the whole table. So I kind of just played around with the little gnomes and the things that I already had. These little gnomes, I actually had them in our tree, like our Christmas tree when I decorated the, that for Valentine's Day. And um, I thought they're cute. They they hang, they look really nice. And um, these little heart fillers, that you can actually put them in um, like a little vase, like for flowers and things like that. But you can also just put them on a display. Like they don't have like a little ornament hanging um, thing like the other ones that I had. So I did just want to kind of scatter them around and I have a, I had a bunch of them because I used them, uh, like I said, last year. So I put those up and then I also had like these little fabric heart ones that I wanted to put on the table as well. I didn't know where else to put them and I figured if I left them all over the house, Gideon might like just grab them from other places. But from the table, I'm like, okay, they should be safe there. He doesn't tend to really mess with my decorations. Um, he is five, but surprisingly he doesn't really mess with things, or at least I didn't think he would. So yeah, I just kind of put those there, and then I didn't really know what else to put, and I didn't want to buy anything else, because again, I'm decorating so late in the month that Valentine's Day is around the corner. For the mirror, I did put these little eucalyptus leaves, but they're very hard to stay on, because I didn't want to like glue it to the mirror and I didn't want to like tape them to the wall or anything so I kind of just put them under the mirror to hold them off but if like someone slams the door they will fall off but uh yeah I just kind of put them there because I wanted something it's not too much but I just wanted something there and again I didn't want to purchase anything new so I kind of gotta see what I want to put there next time but yeah I decided to just hang the gnomes from there because <laughs> I thought they look cute they weren't heavy so I figured they weren't going to fall or be too much weight on the leaves. So I did hang it up. I put some little hearts on there. And I thought it looked super cute. Simple. Doesn't block anything. I really hope I can uh, set up something different for Easter. Like something for spring will be a little bit different. Maybe more taller things to really fill in that space in between the mirror and the table. But this was what I already had. And I kind of wanted to work with that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked it and I will leave you a little clip of Gideon was messing with my things, which I didn't even notice. I didn't even know Gilbert captured him messing with my things because again, I didn't think he would. So yeah, let's see how he will leave my display. I don't know if he's going to keep trying to put things the way he likes. But either way, he doesn't break anything, so it's totally fine. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you on Monday with my refrigerator organization, which I finally filmed. So yeah, hope to see you guys then. Bye. Like it, dude? Thumbs up?